Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tony Stockwell. Pressure's on, isn't there? Lots of people wanting messages, and only little old me, and about four million spirits behind me. But now I'm actually, I don't know, I feel I want to be with this lady here or the lady next to you. I think I'm just somewhere there. So may I speak with, you, with one of you there? I get a sense here of a gentleman, but I don't feel my gentleman's terribly old. So I've got a middle-aged, Latin middle-aged man here, but effectively he feels like a husband or something like this to you. Do, would you understand that? That's it. Because it's a man that's, that comes because he's looking for his wife here within the audience. If the gentleman uh, comes forward, it's a very simple feeling, but I know he wants to dance with you now as he comes forward. He wants to dance with you. And I know he wants to dance in the old-fashioned way with you here on, on the dance floor. And as he dances here for us, I know that he don't look too bad, really. I think he can do it, you know. He's, he can get it all right for us. I know he can do a little waltz and those kind of things. This gentleman would have treated you like a queen in your life. And I know that to, that to him, you were the most beautiful woman in the world. That's what I know. We were like the immaculate couple, that's what I think. We were like an immaculate couple. Everybody said it and everybody kind of knew who they were when they walked. When you walked down the street, you always, always, always held his arm as you walked together. Do you understand this? Arm in arm, we walked like a couple of love-struck teenagers, but that was us through and through. And I know, and you know, that he, of course, does look over you because you believe that very much. He continues to look after you and look over you. I feel that the two of you had discussed life after death or had a sense of, we, well, we both believed it. You know, it's a sense of we were both, I won't say into it, but we had a knowledge and, 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 and a real belief that we were going to go on afterwards. This uh, necklace that you wear, darling, this necklace that you wear, is that new since he has passed? Yes. Good. Because he just said to me, I don't know what she's got on, because I know he don't recognise it. That's what he, it looks very nice, by the way. Thank you. But you know he doesn't recognise it. That's yeah. what I know. I also am aware that you've been abroad since he has passed to the spirit too. Yes. But I feel that you've been abroad quite recently, in fact. Does that make sense? Yes. That's it. Because it's, it's a real thing, a dilemma that you had. Well, do I go? Do I not go? Mm. I don't really want to go because he can't come with me. Those kind of things. And he, darling, wants you to go all around the world all the time, as much as you want, because when you go, he can go with you, you know? <laughs> yes. So you could be in Timbuktu and his spirit would be next to you. You don't need to be home, you don't need to be maudlin, you can have a good time, happy time. When you laugh, he laughs. When you cry, he cries. Now let yourself off the hook and you have a good time, you have a good family around you, enjoy the time, space and any monies that are left behind to have a good life now. And he will watch you, and he will watch you every day when you endeavour to be happier, happier, day by day by day. That's lovely. You're a good, good boy. I think it's a very um, common thing to feel angry at people when they pass, because you don't get it, do you? you know? It's almost like they've gone to a party and not invited you. That's but true. I know sincerely here that he's saying, don't be angry at me anymore, I couldn't help myself, and now I'm, I'm gone. That's mm. it. I don't know. There was a big pain in his chest when he passed to the spirit here, darling. It feels to me like a massive heart attack or something to his heart there uh, that causes him to, to, to pass um, over. He had, pro he had said to you about three days prior to his passing that he didn't feel right, you know. He thought it was indigestion. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. I thought it was indigestion. We said it was indigestion, but he didn't actually think that at all. He knew he had a bad heart. He knew he weren't right. That's what I think. He knew that it was more than we wanted to think. Yes. That's what I think. Now, he knows that his pictures are out on show in your bedroom three times. Do you understand that? You Not have, in the bedroom. You have three images in a home only. Yes. Three significant photographs. Yes. That you must have at least one then in your bedroom. Say no to me, it doesn't matter. No. No. I'm so in your bedroom, love, so that's me. I'm wait one second. <laughs> if you've got three photographs of him out on show, then that's lovely, I'm happy. But I feel I, t I go into your bedroom. As I go into your bedroom, show me clearer, please. As you lay in your own bed, yes. darling, mm. do you lay on the right-hand side of your bed rather than the left-hand side of your bed? On the right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Because he knows you lay on the right-hand side of the bed, and I know that his spirit often lays on the other side. Yes. His side I've got of the his bed. his special drawer by that side. Wonderful. Where I keep special things of him. That belong to him. That's yes. lovely. Well done, darling. 
there is somewhere go in that special drawer have a look around somewhere these pictures i can't bear it it's there that's all i know the picture is there look for me my love and that'll be smashing he's watching you still you've been sewing on a button darling you with me there yes sewing on a button was it today no no it it was for the clothes that okay um as we got the shirt out of the wardrobe a button fell off okay and um it, it was a bit of a standing joke that if a button fell off, okay. he had to go and buy a new shirt. Oh, really? okay. <laughs> but oh. she had to sew it back on this time. <laughs> okay, that's absolutely fine. I only have the words, sewing on the button. He thinks it's important, you see. Yeah. It's, it's a little thing, but it, it, with evidence, it usually is the little things that only you and they could know, isn't absolutely it? Absolutely. It's yeah, not right. the big things, it's the little things. Mm. He's ever so pleased with me. I'm ever so nice. Sometimes they, they're horrible to me, really, but they love me. This, he loves me, this one. He thinks I'm great, and I like him for it. And he just says, he starts saying, thank you so so much oh, yes. for speaking to her. Thank yes. you so much for speaking to her. To take, to take all of his love um, for all those that need to know. But God bless all of you. Thank, Thank you very you much so for listening much. to me. Thank you very much. I really expected my husband to come through today. I just felt so positive. And when Tony did pick me, I wasn't surprised, but I was so excited. My husband was a very proud man and he was a very big man in that he looked after everybody and he was so responsible. Everybody thought he would be here forever and look after everybody. Sadly he went out one day with a friend to watch the rugby at Twickenham and died in the car. He knew he had a bad heart, he knew he weren't right. He made a joke of it in a sense and said to me, you'll have to start to learn how to look after yourself because I won't be here for long. And I used to joke with him and say, you'll be here forever. And he knew that uh, his life would not be long. And he also did ha have what he thought was indigestion. I think he basically knew that there was something. I think it's a very um, common thing to feel angry at people when they pass because you don't get it, do you, you know? The first part of grief is anger and certainly why me and how dare you leave me when I need you so much. But grief has so many different avenues and you have to travel through them all. We were like an immaculate couple. I was happily married to my husband for 32 years and we have two wonderful children and two beautiful grandchildren. We had everything. We were so fortunate with everything we had. And I know he wants to dance in the old-fashioned way with you here on, on the dance floor. Especially ballroom dancing in his younger years and uh, he would sweep me around the room occasionally. This gentleman would have treated you like a queen in your life. It was always a joke with friends and family. He just treated me like a lady and most certainly, as Tony said, like a queen. We knew that we were in love with each other. We said that would always be, whether we were here or in spirit world. I feel that the two of you had discussed life after death. I said to my husband, whoever of us goes, we must try and come back and give the other a message. And uh, this happened today, fortunately. Because he just says to me, I don't know what she's got on, because I know he don't recognise it. My husband would certainly notice um, things that I wear. Uh, he was always very pleased that um, I would buy new things, and he certainly spotted the new necklace today. Go in that special drawer, have a look around somewhere. These pictures, I can't bear it. It's there, that's all I know. The picture is there. I do keep a photograph in the drawer by my bed with a few of his special things. And he was absolutely right about that. I was trying to picture a photograph on the wall in the bedroom, and there isn't, but I do keep one in the drawer. You've been sewing on a button, darling. I had never sewed a button on any of my husband's shirts. It was a joke. If one fell off, he'd have to go and buy another shirt. And sadly, the day that I had to choose his clothes to take to the under undertakers, I took his blue silk shirt out of the wardrobe and a button fell off. So I had to sew it on. So he made me do it in the end. He started saying thank you so much oh, yes. for speaking to her. Thank yes. you so much. I feel now I have had a message that um, I, I feel more comfortable knowing that he is with me. 
and also more importantly knowing he's alright.